Hello and welcome to Nagash Architecture and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the time of day in Twinmotion. Often sometimes you notice that the time of day column you may not actually be able to change the hours maybe from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock or something like that. First of all if you go into the top right corner here in Twinmotion there's an eye. So if you go on to click down this eye you're going to see a summary and under that summary is actually where you can go on to change the time of day. So go on, you go on to select this you see the time of day currently is 10 30 in the morning and then you can slide this all the way down to 6 30 and then you can see the sun move and you can raise it all the way up to 11 12 and then going all the way back down to 8 and 7 7 in the morning so i'm just going to rotate so you get a feel of where the sun is currently now and yeah so that's how you can go about changing it but there's some times where this button isn't going to work and i'm going to show you why that is once you go down to the bottom here and then you're going to see import materials populate media if you go on to select media and then in the image or video settings, once you take a photograph of this sunset as it is right now, once you go on to take a photograph of this sunset, at that moment you've captured the one moment of where the sun is. So if you go over to the eye again at the top right corner here and try to change the time of day, you won't be able to change it because it has already been stuck in that frame. So what you do to change the time of day in this situation is to go over to the right panel here and then you're going to see the time of day for that particular image that you just took a photograph of so you see the slider here you can now move this image left and right you can change it to eight o'clock in the night and obviously in the image as well you can go on to rotate this and you know just to get a frame of your shot that you're trying to capture in the image and then you can still go on to change the sliders but there's something that's going to happen when you're in a different setting where you notice that even the right panel here you can't still change the time of day and that's where the HDRI images do come in. So when you're normally in the twin motion environments that is like this with clear skies and nothing interfering with it, with no HDRI images turned on, you can go on to play with the time of day like this as often as you like. Even with videos, you can go on to select a video like this and then click a video of this particular frame where you're here and then you rotate the frame to one other side. Currently the time is set to 8 a.m. So I'm just going to change that. And then in the second frame for the video, I can go on to change the time from 8 a.m. in the morning to somewhere about 8 p.m. at night. Then go on to add another frame to the same video. So we now have a video frame 10 seconds showing us 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you can go on to play this video and then it shows you a kind of smooth transition from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. But something is going to happen if you're using an HDRI image. Why this is possible is because we are not using HDRI. So if I go on to the ambience here and let's say we quit the image mode and then go into ambience on the top right corner and then select that and scroll all the way down to HDRI environment and then turn on the HDRI to either have a sky dome or the backdrop HDRI. Once this option is selected in the top right corner here, you can still go on to change the time of day normally, but you notice that you can't actually see any difference with what's happening. So it means that the HDRI's backdrop has actually overridden the original time of day in the image itself. So what's going to affect you if you're using HDRI, you can't actually see the difference between the time of day. So even when you go on to take a picture like this, and when you go on to select one image, let's just take a capture of this image as it is. And now try to go into the ambient again, and then try to change the time of day. You notice that it's actually grayed out. You can't actually change the time of day anymore because the time of day from the HDRI image is what supersedes the current time of day in the view that you're working with. So how do you now go about this? And what you do is to go into HDRI. Currently, this is set to, in the HDRI information, in the menu, you're going to see that this is set to noon, clear, day. So noon, clear, or one. And in Twin Motion, you have a ton of HDRI images. So if in case you want to visualize an image that is in the afternoon, you can go and look for skies. You have low sun, modern morning and afternoon, and then you have noon, 12 noon in the middle of the day. So there's low sun, then you, I, you have to download some of these. So the ones that I've downloaded, I do have clear and cloudy. I'm going to go and select cloudy. You have low sun here, cloudy O2. You can just drag this and drop it in here. You see that the ambience is going to go on to change and it's going to give you the time of day according to this according to this HDRI image. So that's what you can work with. You can see that you've now affected the time of day, but the issue with this is you still do not have that much control over it. So you're kind of stuck in using this particular one. It's good because it's slightly more realistic, but you don't have that much control over what you're doing. But this is the simple way you can go about managing the time of day in Twinmotion. 
So remember that if you're using HDRI images like this, you can't affect the time of day. And if you have it turned on, you go on to disable this option. This will help you have more control over your time of day. Now that it's disabled, I can go all the way to this eye up here and select the time of day and go on to affect it. Okay, currently it's not showing. That's because I'm still in image mode because I've taken a photograph of that image. So in order to change this one, I'm going to have to do it in the image settings on the right. I can go on to change the time of day like this. And in order to disable this option and try to change the time of day inside the modeling things, I'm going to have to delete the image mode or disable the image mode and then go back to the normal mode and then we can find a way to change our time of day. Currently, this is set to HDRI still, so I'm going to go on to change that as well in the normal settings, go over and then disable the HDRI images. Now we're back so we can have full control of our time of day and go ahead and change it anyhow we want. So if you found this video useful, do let me know in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. It does help the channel grow and I'll share more Twinmotion and architectural tips for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.